What's up guys? It is Lexi. Today I am going to be filming a what does life as a reseller look like? I am a full-time nanny, um, but as a part-time job, I do reselling on Poshmark. So what that looks like for me is thrifting, posting pictures, um, communicating with potential buyers. Um, and today I have the day off from nannying. It's a Saturday. So I planned on going to the Goodwill bins or the Goodwill outlet, whatever you know it as and potentially um, another Goodwill store that I have not been to. So I'm going to go do that and I'm going to take you guys along with me and show you guys what I get at the end. Sorry that I didn't get the best video of me in the thrift store. Um, it's kind of hard to search through the bins and record at the same time, but here's what the Goodwill bins looks like. Basically, you search through all these bins and find what you want, and at the end, it is 99 cents a pound for clothing where I am at. Okay, guys, I'm at a red light right now, but I am so excited to show you guys what I got. This has, hands down, been the best thrifting trip in my entire life. Like, I am not even being over dramatic right now. This, oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, I'm almost home and I like can't stop smiling. Oh my gosh, it was so good. So good. Um, and it was at the bins, so it was really cheap. Ugh. I'm so excited to show you guys. So I only ended up going to the bins because of the amazing things I found there. I didn't have to go anywhere else and I got a bunch of stuff. So see you when I get home. Okay guys, I am back with all of my stuff. And there's so much of it, all this. So, let me show you. First I got this wooden bowl because it's a bowl and I like this kind of stuff. But that's for me. I got a cute pic picnic basket too. So besides the picnic basket, basket and the bowl, um, the only other non-clothing items I got was this cute little thing, little like plastic greenery wreath, and this little Santa sleigh that's made out of like fake grass material. And I just thought that those would be cute around my apartment, so that's those. Okay. So should I start with the two best things I got? guys these two items I don't even know I was so surprised I found them one and then I found the other so like I found them back to back and it blew me away so I think so everything in this haul was 34 35 so super cheap see it right there oh no 34.70 I lied after tax. So before tax 34.35 after tax 34.70. So under $35. Um so the first item I found like halfway through searching, I was like this is kind of a bust. Like there's not a lot of good stuff here. And then I found this. Oh, just a boring shirt you think. You think, right? You think hallelujah freaking Burberry and so I'm still trying to get it authenticated um but if this is real like oh my god I found Burberry at the bins just let that sink in the bins if you guys don't know is like almost like the rejection pool of donations so like anything that the regular Goodwills don't take anything that doesn't sell at the regular Goodwills or overflow donations. So I'm guessing this was an overflow donation because even if it is fake, people would pick it up really quick. So this made me really happy because like I can make 
I'm, I'm hoping to make $60 off this, which doubles the money. So I get my money back and another $30 or whatever. So yeah, this was so exciting. I freaked out and called my best friend Taylor and she was freaking out with me over the phone. All right, the second item is for myself because I can't give these away, I just can't. But they're Lululemon leggings in my size. So there's the Lulu tag, you can kind of see. Oh, it's so dark. There's so much fuzz flying around from my... So much fuzz from everything I bought. Can you see it? Lulu, kind of. Okay, this is so gross, hold on. It's probably not very good for it with my shirt, but it'll do. So I found Lululemons. So I didn't know if they were Lulus at first because I looked at, the, I like, I felt them and I was like, these feel like nice leggings. Then the back, I saw that it has like a, kind of like a, the Lulu pattern going around them. And then I saw the Lululemon label. And oh my God, I freaked out even more because I literally found this and then I found this, like back to back. I've never been so excited. This smells like old lady. So it's probably authentic, right? Right? Cause no one my age can really afford Burberry. But yeah, these Lulus are so amazing. And I love Lulus. And so I'm gonna keep these. And I'll probably sell one of my other pairs, um, just so I don't. I mean, how many black leggings do I need? So I'll, I'll probably sell one of my other pairs and make like 40 to $60 off them, depending on which pair I sell. And I'll keep these. Okay, now what? So then I found this. So I'm like doing this um, Instagram page called I period spy period vintage, like I dot spy dot vintage um, with this girl Allie. And we are trying to find more vintage pieces. So I found this, which is kind of fun. I think it's a nightgown or like an oversized sweater, but just a, like a little bear. Just kind of a cute little like crew neck type thing. So that's fun. That'll probably bring in 20 bucks. Okay, and then I found this, which is gonna be also for the vintage page. I'm not sure if it's like actually considered vintage. CSL, made in Hong Kong. I don't know that brand. So it's probably, it looks kind of like a vintage tag, but it's just kind of like fun. I'm not sure exactly what it is like a, there's like a little car thing on it and like just kind of 80s themed colors so that's gonna go on that Instagram page. Oh, that's gonna go on that Instagram page and I'll probably cross post to Poshmark um, so then there's something glass in here so I don't want to break it oh yeah I found this little glass container that I'll just put like plants in so that's for me oh Guys, I got so much stuff. Okay. So I found this little bag. I don't know the brand. It's E S P R I T a spirit. Um but it's probably just for me. I don't think it's anything special. But it's just a cute little bag that I might just keep for myself. Okay, another sweater. This one's a Christmas sweater, which I'm trying to pick up right now because it's December 1st and Christmas is 24 days away. So just kind of like a fun Christmas sweater. Okay. So then, um, I found three of these sweaters um they are izod is odd is i probably should know how to pronounce this because i see it all over but so i found three i found a yellow a blue and a red and they were probably all donated together because they're the same size um and all the same style and they all have like the little their little logo 
So I'll probably sell those as a bundle, honestly, or separately. I'm not sure. Okay. And then I found this. It's Calvin Klein. Um, Calvin Klein Extra Large. Um, I feel like the bottom... I can't tell if this is the style. I kind of think it is. Just have like the... Oh, that's the top. Just can kind of have like the ragginess. But I thought it would be Calvin Klein Performance, but it just says Calvin Klein. Ooh. And the tag just says Calvin Klein. So I don't know if it's like pajamas or, or what, but it's Calvin Klein. Could not pick it up at the bins because it's super light, so it probably cost me nothing. Um, and then I found these like old school Victoria's Secret pink sweatpants, which these might sit for a while before they actually sell. I'm not planning on like selling them really quick or anything, but it was at the bin, so of course I couldn't leave them. So just like the love pink down the side and um, like their little like university logo that's on most of the university stuff. Um, and just the other Victoria's Secret pink, cute little dog size medium. They're kind of like three fourth sweats. So I don't know, I'll probably sell those for like $13 honestly, which will give me like $10 off of it. Um, this is for me. It's just like a little Joe Boxer lightweight dress. I love black things, so that'll be good. Um, this was fun. This is 100% um, virgin acrylic. I don't know what the brand is. L-A-R-I-O. Lario? I don't know. This is the tag. I'm not good with brands, but it's just a fun um, like button-up cardigan in a really good... like mustard yellow color um and this color is kind of in right now i'll have to sweater shave it um with my little d pillar but i don't know it's really cute so i'll probably sell that for like 25 to 30 dollars um and then i got some stuff for a bundle but i found a bunch of forever 21 and h m stuff so like forever 21 here's two of the pieces so just like a like a rose quarter sleeve sweater and then this little like tank top crop top type thing you can't really see it but just black and has some like strings on it and then um i found a bunch of forever 21 stuff like little um things that like I wouldn't necessarily sell separately because I wouldn't make anything off of them. But if I make a bundle out of it, I might be able to make a little bit more. So first off, I found this super like soft tank top. It's it's Prima cotton. Um, so actually, this is yeah, this is H and M. I'm doing H and M stuff, not Forever Twenty One. Um, so I found that and then I also found this like just little I think this is also yeah prima cotton little striped quarter sleeve and these are super soft too so like it'll be worth selling together um and then this oh this is forever 21 so this I'll put in the forever 21 bundle it's just like a a cute little like vest thing um it's super soft it is so the shell is polyester and spandex and it's like so soft so that'll be cool with those other two and then i wasn't sure what this brand is love culture um i don't know if it's like anything special but it's just kind of like a cute white blouse type thing um and there's no stains on it that I can see. So, and the back has like this lace. So, I don't know. The sleeves are a little, like they're lace too. Quarter sleeves. So I couldn't pass up something that's white without a stain. 
so I don't know if I'll bundle this in with one of those two bundles and just say hey this is a different brand or sell it alone I don't know how much I'll make off of it um and then I found this skirt so this is, um, I believe it's, yeah, Pendleton, which I know that women's Pendleton doesn't sell as well as guys, but it's like one of those old lady brands, not to take offense to any old ladies, but it's an older brand, and um, I know it's a really high-end brand, so whenever I see stuff like this at the bins, I pick it up. Um, just in case like like i feel like eventually i'll make money off of it um whether i sell it on poshmark ebay or thread up or just send it into thread up which doesn't pay out a lot for pendleton but i don't know for the bins i couldn't not pick it up so yeah it's just a super cute green skirt with, like the slit in the back and then these are j crew chino which I don't know. I don't know much about J. Crew, but I found a bunch of it today. So, yeah. I might either sell it or try to do like a put together a reseller box and put some J. Crew in there. I'm not sure. But I found these size four. They're just like green pants. Nothing too special, but they're really soft. I have to look up more about J. Crew and find out stuff about them but they're in really good condition so I picked them up oh this is another H&M for the H&M bundle just like a little cardigan black um all the H&M stuff and forever 21 stuff are the same size and they were in the same bin like in the same area of the bin too so I kind of think they were all donated together so that's cool because they're the same size so I can bundle them um this is an adidas sample so like it was one of their sample pieces so i don't know what i'll get for it but it's just a plaid um i don't know if i would call it a flannel because it's like flannel it looks like a flannel but it's super thin and kind of like what's it made out of So 100% polyester and it still has like the button on there and it's in like really great condition it has like the logo on the sleeve but I don't know anything about selling stuff that's like a sample um I've gotten stuff that were samples like from I want to say like some I think it was like a little local outdoor shop in Montana um they'll sell like Patagonia samples and stuff like that but I don't know about resell, but it, it's in really great condition, so I could not pick it up. It's super light, so it didn't cost much. Um, and then there's this. It's basic options, size large. Um, it's just like a really soft little Hawaiian shirt. And I might keep it and crop it like underneath the pocket or I'll sell it. Um, I'm not sure, but I don't know. These tend to do well for me. Just like random, sh I call them like dad shirts, like shirts that you would steal from your dad's closet for like high school themed weeks or whatever, but then end up liking it and keeping it. That's how I would describe this. And then this too, um, it's a St. John's Bay which I know St. John's Bay doesn't do very well, but I liked the style. So just like the other one, I'll either crop it and keep it for myself or just sell it. Um, but it's just like a button up jean material t-shirt um, polo thing. It's an extra large, but I know that like, especially in the spring, this type of stuff is usually really popular. Um, so It'll sit probably for a while if I decide to sell it, but eventually I'll make a couple bucks off it. And then I found this American Eagle extra small vest, jean vest. And it has like the front pockets and 
the American Eagle logo. So that'll sell. And then more stuff. I also found you good? Mimi's choking. Um, I also found a tree skirt, which me and Mark, our Christmas tree, we just have like a green blanket around the bottom and cause tree skirts are so expensive. And this one's really pretty. So, got us a tree skirt. Okay, so there's more stuff for like the H&M and Forever 21 bundles in here, I think. So, let me show those to you. So this is H&M, just a little like, lightweight top with like a scrunched waist um and it like zips up the side like you can to like help you put it on there's like a zipper um but this is just really fun it'll go in that bundle i might even do a forever 21 and h&m bundle together just like a big chunk of clothes because i feel like that'll do well because this one's also the prima cotton h&m it's like a little tank top and like I said, these are all the same size. They're all smalls and extra smalls. So they'll do well together, like bundled. Um, and then, let's see, do I have any more H&M stuff for Forever 21? No. I'm not sure what that is. Nope. Okay, wait, here's one. And then there's this, um, Forever 21 cold shoulder long sleeve top so if it ever has a cold shoulder i usually try to grab it it's like cold shoulder and crop tops are like my go-to with these lower end brands because forever 21 and h&m don't resell well if you don't bundle it um but like the cold shoulder will kind of like push the bundle a little bit but just this I have sold pieces like this separately, but I only make like $5, but that's still $5 It adds up in the end, um, especially because they're really lightweight. So here's a J. Crew, another J. Crew piece, just a little like long sleeve sweater type thing. I'll have to sweater shape this one too. Um, what's it made out of? It's 45% cotton, 35% wool, 20% nylon. So it's super soft. It's not itchy, which a lot of wool stuff is. And then I also found this J. Crew. Um, the tag is really small. It's an extra, extra small, but it's just like a basic tank top. And like I said, I don't know much about selling J. Crew, but when you find a bunch of it, I think it's worth picking up just to kind of see um, what you can do with it. This, I totally thought was free people. It's not. It's like one of the free people like knockoff brands, I think. It's poof, made in China. So this isn't free people like I thought it was. But it's just a little cardigan with like the open knit back, long sleeved cardigan. That's a bummer. I totally thought this was free people. It's okay, I'll still do something with it. Um, and then this is a Lauren, Ralph Lauren, um, like knit sweater thing. Not knit, cashmere, that's what I meant. Cashmere. So there's the tag. And then it's just like a little, I don't know, like sweater vest type thing but I feel like you can't go wrong with Ralph Lauren um um of course here's another like little piece um that are gonna go in the bundles this one is not a brand that I know the logo is just a heart moon and star but it's one of the off the shoulder tops which along with the cold shoulder and the crop tops off the shoulder tops, I always pick up. So just a little striped. And I'll just add that in the bundle as like a thank you for buying it gift, like a freebie. Um, 
And then I think this is, yeah. So Aline Fisher, which I don't know much about her. There's been so many times I've seen it at the bins and I've passed it up because I was like, that sounds familiar, but I don't necessarily know much about it. And then now I see like all these different Poshmarkers freaking out when they find it. So I found her. I don't know anything about it. I don't know if I'll make something off it or if it's just a good made, like a well-made brand. But I picked it up because I was like, hey, I recognize that. But it's just like a little, um, it's like a lightweight blazer. So it's not like necessarily one you'd wear with a suit. I don't think at least. So then I found another Christmas sweater. It's kind of fun. There's like some spots on it. So I'll have to like put it through the wash with like some OxyClean and stain remover stuff. But it's just a little bear, I think. Yeah, a little bear with the present in the chimney. So like I said, I always pick up Christmas sweaters. Um, and then there's this, which I'll also have to put through the wash with some OxyClean because there's like a mark on it but if it comes out i thought this would be fun for my vintage page just like a little striped um hoodie the brand is volleys it's another one of those like vintage looking tags but i thought i'd pick it up anyway despite the stain okay these are the brand is announcements Hold on, my grandma's calling me. Hello. Love you. Bye. That was my grandmother. Oh, because she texted me three times and I, and I didn't respond to her. Cool. Okay. So then I got these overalls, which they're kids. Um, they're like a kids 12, 14. But I figured that they could sell as a woman small because they're really cute. They're like... The army green and they're like their shorts overalls so they will be good in like the summer um, and they have like a little front pocket um, the brand is like I said announcements so oh this is maternity this is maternity shorts that makes a lot of sense maternity overalls well, I guess I got some maternity overalls. I mean, they're still cute. I think I could even fit into those. I don't know why they're maternity. Um, so then I found this, which it's Maurice's, I believe. Yeah, so this is a Maurice's, which like isn't a great reselling brand, but it's super cute. So it's a turtleneck with like maroon, white, blue, and green stripes. So I figured a couple bucks. Um, and then I found this skirt, which I don't know the brand. Artie. It has like another one of those vintage looking tags. But it's just like a little um, maroon skirt. So I figured, and I figured like the color and style is really in right now. So it'll, it'll sell. And then my last item were some Levi's. Relaxed fit. Um, 550 jeans. They are, what size are they? Um, width 23, length 25, size 10. I think they're kids, but yeah, they're definitely kids. But I figured I could like cut them into shorts even and distress them. Cause these will fit like a women's zero. So yeah, they're black. You can't go wrong with black Levi's, even if I sell them as kids. So, you get the big patch. But yeah. So that was my haul. Like I said, I got all of that for $35. And just these two items makes the whole trip worth it. Like I would buy these on Poshmark for $40, probably for this style. So, but yeah i'm a big pile of stuff to list now so i'm gonna list all this all my new inventory it's my side hustle okay so thank you guys so much for watching um 
If you guys want another video of me showing how I list things, how I take all my photos, how I figure out like stock photos and stuff, um, feel free to comment below. And yeah, and I'll make one of those because this one's already really long, so I don't want to like drag it out even more. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any thrifting questions, feel free to let me know. Um, you can ask me below or find me on Instagram at Lexi Framness. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.